First Alert Weather on NBC10 Boston, Boston's most accurate forecast. All right, 1118 this morning. Sydney Welch is back. She's got a check of the forecast for us. I'll tell you, you know what I've been enjoying lately? The changing of, I mean, the the, the leaves are, are crazy right oh, yeah. now. Yeah. It's oh, yeah. beautiful out there. Mm-hmm. Last night I watched When Harry Met Sally because the leaves reminded <laughs> yes. me of it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Tonight I'm going to watch Moonstruck. Yep, so it's the season. Okay. It's the season, Sydney. And you know what? It's been warm, but it's been so nice to get outside these past few days. And now we have some changes coming, but what is not changing is the amount of measurable rainfall that's expected. We are expecting to stay mainly dry really through the 10-day forecast. So, so far this year, 2020, 24, fifth on record for driest falls since September 1st uh, to today. So 45 days with no rain. It's not going to take all that much to get us up there a little bit higher on this board, uh, even tied for number one within the next few days. So wind gusts right now at this time. We are seeing gusty conditions, especially south shore, 28 miles per hour uh, in Plymouth, parts of the Cape, 24 mile per hour gusts, 23 mile per hour gusts in Fitchburg. We'll see between 20 and 30 mile per hour gusts really through the rest of our afternoon, really into the afternoon. And then we're going to notice some small changes for Friday and Saturday. We actually have a gorgeous outdoor day for Friday, but we're going to notice uh, some drier conditions, especially Friday and Saturday. And then into next week, that's when the big changes are coming, the noticeable changes. As you're heading out the door, you'll definitely need the jacket. But along the way, since we're staying dry, since we have those chance for gusty conditions, we do also have the chance for uh, wildfires to spread. So anything that ignites has a better chance to spread when you do factor in that wind and the dry grounds out there. So two active fires right now. And as far as acreage is concerned, fires this year, 590 acres, excuse me, 667 acres with those 590 fires. So that's about an acre per fire. Well, with conditions like what we're seeing right now, more of that could spread, seeing more acreage in those smaller fires becoming much larger. So we have to be very careful these next few days, uh, especially as we're seeing this cold front passing over cooler air on the other side it's going to be a little bit cooler much closer to where we should be for this time of year but it's the second cold front that's going to bring in big changes for us so this cold front is going to be ushering in some very chilly air at times even first freeze territory for spaces even like Boston so even right along the coast we could see those temperatures plummeting quite a bit through the afternoon clouds are sticking around possibly a shower or two we're seeing very isolated showers today And then that drier air will be coming in overnight tonight and into tomorrow. We'll notice cooler temperatures as far as high temperatures go for tomorrow. But today, it's just going to be a bit more on the cloudy side, upper 60s through the afternoon, 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock. We're seeing 67, 66 degrees. And then eventually, we're going to be cooling things off as we head into the evening, overnight tonight and into tomorrow. We might have a little bit cooler of a morning, especially compared to this morning with temperatures in the 40s. So 60 degrees for your Friday, low 60s into Saturday. Saturday with mostly sunny skies. And then this is when we'll notice those changes. 53 degrees on Sunday. Sunday into Monday of next week. Look at those low temperatures. 34 degrees. That's going to be right along the coast. So we're in frost territory. We're in freeze territory across the board. If it's going to be 34 degrees on the coast, that means areas inland are easily going to be in the upper 20s in spots. But look at this. Rebounding very nicely by Halloween as those temperatures make their way back to the middle 70s by the time that we're heading through Halloween. Sydney, that roller coaster looks like one I don't like <laughs> at all.